Karen Brady has shared her view on Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's fast-track program for asylum seekers. Rishi Sunak has faced renewed pressure in the last few days after it was announced that to deal with the massive asylum backlog, the Home Office launched a streamlined system that will see migrants granted refugee status on the basis of a questionnaire. Business executive Karen Brady has said she thought the idea of shortening the backlog was great news. However, she slammed the dreadful questionnaire that allows migrants to stay in the UK. In December, Mr. Sunak said he would clear the asylum backlog by the end of 2023. His promise to clear the backlog by the end of this year means that Home Office staff have 10 months to clear 92,601 initial asylum claims which were in the system at the end of last June. Some 12,000 awaiting decisions, from Syria, Libya, Afghanistan and Yemen. will be among 92,000 to be processed by the end of the year. Baroness Brady took to her column in The Sun to share her opinion on the matter, branding the idea of clearing the list as great news. However, she used her column to share the reasons why she cannot back Mr. Sunak's new plan. She wrote, I think it is dreadful that migrants will basically be able to fill out a form and be allowed to stay in the UK. According to some officials, the vast majority of cases will go ahead without an asylum interview. Others say dropping interviews with asylum seekers indicates the Home Office is prepared to take a bit of a risk in order to get the backlog down. But a bit of a risk is absolutely terrifying and I am not surprised that it has been dubbed by some as an amnesty in all but name. Baroness Brady then said that the government can't ignore that a number of cases of asylum seekers from the countries listed have committed serious crimes in the UK. She then listed Lawangin Abdulrahimzai, who posed as a 14-year-old boy to gain entry into the UK. Baroness Brady then claimed that if the Home Office is going to use a questionnaire, the questions need to be blunt, as it is terrifyingly putting complete trust in the form. She ended the column, we are a country already overwhelmed as it is by UK citizens who are vulnerable and homeless. We have a cost of living crisis. We have food shortages and we can't even see a GP. Forget trying to see a dentist. So the answer is not waving people through to cut waiting lists but trying to make sure that those who do come in have a right to be here. And to do that, face-to-face -face questions are needed. Not just a simple questionnaire. The questionnaires will initially be sent to older asylum claims from the nations of Afghanistan, Eritrea, Libya, Syria and Yemen, countries where 90% or more of claims are granted. The Home Office's Director of Asylum. Protection and Enforcement writes in a letter that this would streamline the asylum process for claimants who are confirmed nationals of Afghanistan, Eritrea, Libya, Syria and Yemen. However, the letter warns, should claimants approach organizations that help asylum seekers, for assistance, we would be very grateful if you can continue the work you do with asylum seekers in the UK by supporting them with this questionnaire. 20 working days will be provided for claimants to return this questionnaire. A failure to return the questionnaire without reasonable explanation may result in an individual's asylum claim being withdrawn in line with the published policy on withdrawing asylum claims.